Hello and welcome. This is uh, vlog number 45.2. So week 45, day number two. We have been doing this for an entire year. We have made really great progress. So for the last few weeks of our one year goal that we had to call motivated sellers every single day, and make videos recording that, showing you guys. Uh, we've almost done it for an entire year. So this is week 45. Uh, and our goal was a year. And we would see where we are in a year. Uh, and I am extremely pleased with <laughs> where we are. I, you know, I didn't think it'd be as good as it's been, I thought it would take a lot more time to make the kind of progress we did, which is, you know, uh, we're going to own about uh, 16 uh, properties. Uh, this is buying hold plus um, the, uh, the properties, the wholesale properties that we've done uh, in addition to the flips. Uh, so, um, after leaving the military two, three videos ago, I kind of gave my story a little bit, uh, leaving the United States Navy and starting, uh, real estate absolutely full-time, uh, with some knowledge, but not so much, uh, uh, I guess I would say intellect because I'm not as smart as other people. Uh, so here we are and um, we are continuing to do it. So for the last few weeks of this one year goal, uh, I call it a challenge. Uh, I wanted to get back to uh, talking about wholesaling and calling sellers uh, and following up and all of that kind of stuff. Even though we have been recording for the past year, a lot of those calls, most of them, but we have been talking about raising private money. We've been talking about uh, how to invest for retirement, how to create passive income, how to use your 401k, uh, savings accounts, etc. to get started. We've been talking about gear lending, uh, how to be gap lenders, how to be. So we've, we've been talking a lot about different things to get started in real estate, but um, the strategy of wholesaling is something that a lot of people uh, are trying to figure out how to do. And so if you are a beginner and you don't know where to start, you know, keep watching. We're going to make some phone calls right now. And as we go through them, we will um, keep uh, kind of giving the, the tips, uh, the advice, what I've learned for the last uh, year and how to implement it. Okay, so um, let's see, we are going to start calling here. So give me a like, a subscribe and everything else. Uh, but uh, we got a CRM. Uh, we deployed a lot of text messages, a lot of cold calling, more than text messages, cold calling. Uh, and then also social media ads. So whether that is on Facebook or on um, uh, Instagram or also on YouTube, I've uh, been running those ads and they work really great. So let me know if you would like me to share those systems below. And also the scripts, let me know below if you want me to send you my scripts. They're very different from any other scripts uh, because they go deeper and not wider, right? So I don't, we don't say the same things to every list. Every list is different. So uh, we go pretty wide. This one here, let's see. Okay, so. Opportunities. 
So I use a CRM to determine, you know, who I'm calling next. So the CRM actually does it for me. So I just go through the process, right? Uh, each, the CRM has a funnel built in and I just go through every stage of the funnel and see what I have to do. So that's where I am right now. I'm gonna make these phone calls really quickly. And it's early, it's almost 8 a.m. So uh, I wanna see what we can get here. Okay, so this is a cold call campaign. Sanford is the city where this is. So I just uh, want to see the location really fast. So I'm on Google Maps, uh, typed it. So I wanna see how far it is from me. Not too bad. So I wanna know on Google if there's anything funky in the results, nothing. Click on Zillow just to get my, uh, my bearings here. So his estimate is 215. Um, if I go down to the price history and property tax, I see that the tax assessment is 48,000. Okay, so property taxes two ninety nine. So I go forty eight thousand, and this estimate is two sixteen, two fifteen. So that's a big difference. Let's see. The property has two bedrooms. Yeah, I know. It's fine. These are the notes from our cold caller. spare room and he uses a workshop. There are repairs needed, but not, nothing major. It was painted a few years ago. It needs to be painted again. He's asking 160 for the property. He's planning to move back to Virginia. He said he can sell it within six months. This is looking good. Okay. Ethel. Hello? Yes, good morning, Mr. Welday. Who is this? Uh, this is Ben, how are you? I'm fine, but uh, what can I do for you? I don't know who any bands are. <laughs> well, uh, my assistant had called you and uh, said I, I would be calling about your property on Myrtle Avenue. Um, I think you were planning on moving back to Virginia and you'd like to sell the property. My might. Okay. So, what? go ahead. Ballparking, what are you guys looking at? For? Well, uh, you had asked my assistant to to look into if we could do one hundred and sixty thousand. No, I could go for less than one sixty five. So one sixty five. One sixty five. Yeah, one six five. Right, that's what you said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. One six five. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's something I think we can do. Uh, tell me about. Uh, I think uh, there's there's some. Uh, some minor repairs that need to be made to the property. Is that correct? Yeah, it, could need to be, it could need to be painted out, and, you know, just because it hasn't been painted in a long time. Mm. But I mean, the outside and everything looks fine. Mm. And I have some sliding glass doors between the main house. And then well, a room that used to be a garage at one time. 
and then the people turned it into a room that closed it in. Okay. And uh, I've not used that for anything but a workshop because it was never really finished. Okay. But those those sliders need to be replaced. My yeah. brother and I redid the entire porch. It's got a huge porch on the back. Um, the roof was just done last year in 2022. Okay. And the uh, air conditioning was replaced five years ago, the central air. Okay. okay. You got a fenced yard, backyard's all fenced. You're all fenced, okay. Okay, well, that's good. Um, any Anything um, major that you have done to the property? Remodeled, my brothers and I remodeled the whole kitchen. Put all cabin cabinetry and all that stuff in it when I uh, bought the house. Mm -hmm. um, we put in the uh, pulled out all the old carpeting and put in the uh, vinyl uh, planks, the waterproof flooring. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, just mostly painting and that kind of stuff. Okay. Okay. Um, that sounds good. So if if uh, if we could come in one sixty five, uh, when when are you? So you live in the property, correct? Yes. Okay. So let's talk about like uh, like uh, do you need time uh to to um you know pack and make arrangements in Virginia? How, how oh, is that? Oh, of course. Okay. Okay. Well, we actually are looking at something right now. Um, a house available up there. At least it was. Somebody called us about it. I got to check it out. Um, it's a brick home. It's, I guess, it, I, I don't know how soon that guy will be out. Mm -hmm. So I have to find that out. And then I'd probably need at least a month to get everything out of the house and get movers in. Mm -hmm. And into my house here. Yeah. So when you say we, you and your brother? No, my, uh, my next uh, lady down the street is thinking of, uh, Moving up there too. If she doesn't, I'll go by my on my own. We're just both getting older, so it <laughs> yeah. would make it easier. Number one, to get out of that, the insurance prices here are just tearing me up. I know. I it. can't take much more of the insurance. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, and you know they're going to go up again. Oh, they will. Especially now with all the other companies leaving the area. Yeah. And I'm up to like uh, forty eight hundred dollars a year now. Forty eight hundred a year. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think the problem is, I think they're jacking me because under my policy, I have, uh, and I was grandfathered in for it, was a $500 deductible. Mm -hmm. No matter what happens, that includes hurricane, everything. Now, they would love to have me They'd say, oh, well, we can decrease your premium if you uh, raise that deductible up. Oh, I and see. they want to raise my roof deductible and all that stuff up to like four thousand dollars. No, I don't think so. Wow, that's almost the whole price of the policy now. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. So, yeah, these hurricanes oh, yeah, really did a number on us, huh? It was. They was going up before the hurricane. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And as fast as one company pulls out of state, then another one wants to go mm -hmm. raise your prices. So that's right. That's right. Yeah, it isn't just those hurricanes because those hurricanes that last year, my insurance has been going up every year. Oh wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, do you do you have a a a mortgage right now? No. Okay, so no, it's no. very clear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think we can move forward. So so realistically, uh. What do you think? I know you have to look at the other house and make arrangements. So, mm -hmm. so let's make a game plan. Should we say, you know, closing within a month, two months? What do you think? I would think within two months. But the thing is, I don't know because I don't know how soon this guy, this is a private seller. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't know how fast he's going to want the money. I don't know how long does the closing take. So can we do, maybe I'm thinking, can we do maybe pending, pending that purchase up there? We can arrange it that way. Pending what purchase? Uh, the purchase in Virginia? That's right. Uh, purchase, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the, the one in Virginia. So we I, can... Well, I don't... Yeah, I, I like I said, we haven't even seen it yet. So I don't... You know, a lot of these ones look real good. And then you get up there and find out that half the wiring is gone and it's going to cost you $40,000 before you can even move in. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. So, so, so we can, uh, we can definitely work, uh, work a plan out to where, um, you know, gives you time to, to find a place in Virginia. That's, that's the main point, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. So well how about giving me a call in like about, uh, how about ne- the middle of next week? That sounds good. And then I can, I'm not going to do anything before then. So sure. I can find out more about that property up there. We do have somebody who lives up there. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're gonna see if she can get over and look at it and see. Okay. But I mean, it's not. It, it sounds. It's one of those too good to be true. Oh, gotcha. It's a it's a brick home, mm-hmm. which is good. Um, two bedrooms, two baths on five acres of land for one hundred and fifty. For one hundred and fifty, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's. But prices good. up there are uh, are a bit lower than they are down here. So. Yeah, that is, that is true. Okay. So anyway, yeah, just give me a call in the middle of next week, and uh, we'll see what we can do. You got it. Well, it sounds good. Did I pronounce your, your name okay? Uh, well, Day? Yes, that is correct. Okay. Okay. Well, Mr. Well, and I'll tell me your first name again one more time. Yeah, yeah. No problem. <laughs> I know sometimes <laughs> names are hard to remember. Uh, ben, and my last name is Marks, M-A-R-K-S. Okay. All right. Just give me a call next week, Ben. You got it, sir. Talk to you later. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. So we have an appointment with him next week. So one out of one. He wants a call. Okay. So this is uh, this is good because. Um, uh, it is about a hundred thousand dollars that he wants below what Zillow says. So I'm going to look at yeah, this is uh, this is very cool. I'm looking at the MLS. And we can definitely give them 160 because our ARV is going to be in the 300s. This, <laughs> this is amazing. I mean, I, I'm very shocked because you can't ever find these deals like this. So fantastic like this. Um, so I'm going to put some notes here. So this property, Zillow has it at two fifteen thousand. Two hundred and fifteen thousand dollars, and on my MLS estimate came in in the low 300,000s ARV. So maybe the truth lies somewhere in the middle. Comma, either way is great because he wants $165,000 cash, which we can definitely do. Period, new paragraph, he wants me to call him back next week. But everything sounds good. The property needs a little bit paint. Need a Needs a little bit of painting and some work on the sliding doors. A garage that was turned into an office, but he put in a new roof in 2022. And the air conditioning is about five years old and it is fenced. Period, new paragraph. When he bought it, he remodeled it with his brother. 
but he can't take the insurance costs anymore because as of now, he's paying about $4,800 per year. Period, new paragraph. He would like to close within two months, but he is waiting for a new house that he's looking at with his lady friend down the street for $150,000, which has acreage, but he wants to make sure it's in good condition. Period, new paragraph. He asked me to call him back next week, but I think I'm going to call him back sooner than that and send him a contract because I wanna lock this up before anything happens. This looks like a fantastic opportunity. So there's the summary. I mean, I did my research uh, and this is unbelievable to me. So this is urgent. Uh, so I'm going to set up an appointment now. I just couldn't push him too much right now. Uh, and I hadn't done like big due diligence. So So get it locked up right away. I think I'm going to call him later on today, <laughs> perhaps latest tomorrow. Three hundred K ARV wants one sixty five K. Okay, and this. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, and then this is going to go to, I'm going to move it down the funnel to, uh, negotiating, which is after appointment. You know what? I am going to call him and ask him if I can come take a look at it. And then while I'm there, I'll get this contract signed. Yeah. While there, okay. Okay, so I am very, very excited about this deal here. Uh, I had no idea. It was such a good deal. Oh, man. Yeah, I think this is a fantastic uh, opportunity. I mean, this is one of the top opportunities. So what I, I do sometimes, even though I have a CRM, uh, I don't know how to do this better, to be honest with you. I'm gonna take this address and I actually, the, like the most important deals, the top deals that I have, I have a spreadsheet because uh, I was trying to track. And so on there, on this spreadsheet, I mean, I'll just tell you sometimes I don't like to share too much, but, uh, I have three sections. One is like super, super hot deals that I really need to have. Uh, and then properties that I have under contract. So I have a bunch of properties right here under contract, like 20 of them. Uh, and then uh, closed deals that are buying hold, right? So I don't track um, on the sheet. I don't put deals that we've, that we've, um, uh, wholesaled, but these are the holds, right? Buying hold for whatever reason. I do have another section where I do track those uh, wholesale deals. Uh, but this is the most important thing for me on this sheet is to have properties on here that I know are a fantastic deal and that we can pretty much close. So I have to add more spaces here because I have so many of them. So what I've been doing for the past year, the reason a lot of people think that houses 
don't work is because they pretty much don't understand the concept of pipeline maturity. <clears throat> so let's talk about pipeline maturity for a second. This is, I'm going to give you a, you know, one minute training from what I've learned, not because I'm a guru, about pipeline maturity. Pipeline maturity is the number one reason why a lot of people don't see results right away or really results at all. Uh, pipeline maturity is very intensive because you have to have a lot of a lot of conversations and you're always constantly talking to sellers and you are scheduling appointments like with this one here and you are going to see it and then you're going to do this and do that and you have to keep your word about a lot of things so pipeline maturity varies according to the market so in a very competitive market, for example, let's say Miami, your pipeline maturity is going to take forever. So let's for a second define pipeline maturity, okay? This is not textbook pipeline maturity definition, but my own definition is pipeline maturity is somebody who come, comes into your marketing systems. And let's take worst case scenario. They, you call them, or let's say you have a virtual assistant call them, then they yell at the virtual assistant because how dare you call me? You know, why do you guys keep calling me? You guys are sharks. You guys are, you know, this come of the earth because my parents just died and you know you want my property or something like that and that happens all the time so i'm talking about the good the bad and the in between so within popular maturity let's just say this property uh the parents lived in florida and let's say the son in this case maybe the heir lives in new york or california or Colorado, you pick the state. So let's say Colorado, right? And completely upset. So hangs up the phone, but we know that the pain is big and is real. So then because we sort of understand, we come back and we ask, you know, a different question. We be empathetic. Uh, we offer help. We offer value. We lead with value just to have a better conversation. So from the first conversation to the second conversation, you made, let's say the second conversation went well. So now it moves into a second stage. So, so from first conversation could be a deal. You call. Now you find out that, you know, they do need help. They're upset because, or he's upset because, has no money, has to take care of this problem, uh, can't come to Florida, has no money, has, you know, financial problems, but he knows that he can sell the house. Boom. You come in. First of all, let's say, well, where's the house? You're in Colorado. Uh, maybe you don't have a way to come see the house. Where's the house? Let's say it's within driving distance. Tell you what, I'm going to go take a look at it for you something like that i've done that before with people right so now you're working the lead you work it you work it you work it and let's just say you know what forget it i'm not going to do anything about this property for a while you know and you are convinced that he's not going to do anything so you set up reminders to check in with him and as this relationship develops let's say within six seven months of doing that back and forth figuring out how we can bring value and how we can help. Then, you know, of course, at some point having a conversation about the potential purchase, then 
that pipeline becomes mature. Let's just say that you did all that work and is not going to sell it for a discount. Like, you know, it's not going to happen. It's okay because you can still do creative financing. Or at the very least, you can have uh, your buddy who's a real estate agent list it, you split it, you didn't waste any time. So you take it to full maturity. So in my, in my book, the definition of pipeline maturity is just kind of working with leads all the way to where they're mature and they're ripen and you can take advantage of uh, some spoils. That's all. That's all pipeline maturity. So that happens like in my pipeline, that's happening almost a thousand times because we have a thousand people on there. Uh, so going back to the example in Miami, say Miami uh, or Houston or Dallas or, uh, you know, any of these big cities, the pipeline maturity waiting time, waiting period. And this is the main reason I'm explaining this. So the waiting period for those leads to mature and for you to take advantage of them. Uh, or longer overall. Yeah, you can have home runs and take advantage of things like right away. Uh, if you find a lead like the one I did today, um, so then your pipeline maturity has some, some home runs in between, but overall the average deal in your pipeline maturity uh, is going to take a lot longer. So pipeline maturity or the pipeline doesn't reach full maturity uh, until a long period of time, the more competitive the market is. That is, and, and, and because I've tried several markets, you know, and we do do some things virtually and stuff, and that's what I've noticed. So the key here is my word of encouragement is to understand your, so instead of doing like market research, just figure out how long on average deals take to close and how you how long they take to nurture i think that's the key to figuring out uh, because that's what i had to do that's what i did so i tried different things and i had to understand that concept of pipeline maturity okay so that is my take as i say i always like to say i'm not a guru because uh, I want you to know I'm not trying to sell you a course. I'm literally giving you everything I know for free. Uh, I'm not holding anything back at all. So I put this lead. Now going back to the calls now, uh, I put this, this lead, uh, Mr. Welday, um, into a... Um, Uh, into my spreadsheet, which I um, uh, tracking the most important deals. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the next here. Mohammed. Okay, this is. Looks like two different properties. Two properties currently vacant for a month. Okay, so two properties. So I'm going to take a look at both of them on Zillow really fast. Okay, so this one sold just recently about, what is this? It sold yesterday. I think I missed the boat on this one. Sold for, um, 177. Okay.
currently vacant for a month. Okay, both needs minor repairs. 200 for 1218. Then 1208. They wanted uh, so 200 for each. Properties are vacant. Okay. Okay, let me call. I missed the Please leave your message for Jerry. Jerry. No answer. He said his name was Jerry. Okay. So I'm going to put it on persevering. I got to be persevering on this one. As you can tell, I have more potential deals than I know what to do with. So I just, you know, take it easy, steady. So I will put it on persevering campaign okay let's go on to the next one the crm automations kick in when i move them from one stage to another so i know that there's still activity going on in the background automatically for me if you want those systems those automations comment below and let me know. Or send me, you know, contact me. My, my contact info is below. So go ahead and reach out. Reach out to me. I don't charge anything for anything. <laughs> Maybe I should. What do you think? Okay, this one here is in Jacksonville. Excellent condition. Uh, well, that's not good. Okay, well, I don't like this lead already. Okay, it's close to Baldwin. Okay, so let's see. Edwards, um, okay. Edwards, we're not available to come to the phone at the moment. But... Okay, no answer. Uh, so I'm not that excited about this one anyway. So I'll just let the automations. I'll just let the automations take over this one. Let's see how motivated they are. Attempt to contact. Okay, Draper. Like Donald Draper. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Where is it? This is an orange park. Okay. 
Okay. It's a nice looking house. Uh, okay, yeah, I know exactly where this is. If you guys hear noise in the background, I apologize. I mean, this is... Uh, This is a live broadcast. Okay, well, this property here, you know, there's people mowing out there and stuff. Oh, it's actively being sold, okay. So for this one, what I will do Text him. Listed and Zillow. I'm interested. So let's see. Okay. All right, let's go on to the next here. Okay, so this is a duplex. Uh, let's see here, where is it? Ormond Beach, uh, okay, very familiar with the area. It's right around the corner. Uh, it's on the beach side. Okay, somebody replied. Yeah. So he said, great. I'd like to see it sometime. I like to, to, to tell people that I want to see, uh, see the property because that's pretty much what it boils down to. Uh, people don't take you seriously if you're just sending offers like randomly, you know? Uh, like they get, they get, a little bit suspicious because like how can you want to make an offer you haven't even seen it they don't understand that because everybody knows if you're buying a house you, you got to see it you know open houses 
that kind of stuff. You text real estate agents and, and, and they're like, okay, well, I'm interested in buying something, right? And so the first thing they want to do if you're a buyer and you're actively looking to buy something, real estate agent is going to assume that you want to go, you know, be shown properties. So if you don't see something, then it becomes really, really fishy. Uh, 343 on Zillow for this duplex. That's it. Fours, I think. Fours. Please leave your message for oh. seven one eight four nine. Okay, so we're texting. So, hey, boys, it's Ben. Give me a call. Stuff like that, I do. All right, so. I allow the automations to trigger. Attempt to contact, okay. Let's go into the next. Shawana and Neville. Interested in selling, currently accepting offers, names, minor work. So people have been calling her. Okay. She's in Daytona Beach. Okay. Let's see where in Daytona this is. Mm, okay. I don't think I like the area too much. Oh, for sale by owner. Again. So just to get them to reply to me. Interested. Property. Is it still available? Is it still available? Okay, well, let me call them because the text didn't go through. So let's see. Okay, so no answer, uh, and I couldn't leave a voicemail. That's strange. 
No answer and could not leave a voice now. Okay, let me actually look at the listing and see. Listed by owner 9210. Ah, oh, okay. There's a different number here. Uh, Okay, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is giving me a little trouble here. Okay, so it's sent. Let's see what it does. Attempted contact. All right. So we got uh, two potentials today, right? Um, I typically like to get at least two potential contracts a day. And with that, you know, we have, you know, 10 potentials per week. Five will probably move forward. Uh, and then maybe half of that will close. So about two to three a week will close. But when you really do that, let's just say the bare minimum two per week. So that is eight, eight pretty certain closings per month. That's nice, in my opinion. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just a military guy. <laughs> That's it. I mean, I don't, I'm not a guru. I'm just a Navy guy. Uh, and I do my best doing real estate. I will never, I don't think I will ever consider myself a uh, expert just because, you know, there are so many better people than I am. And I think I'll always have the feeling that I was in the Navy and, you know, and that's who I am. That's why I have my flag in the back. So, uh, yeah, this is the rental property and tenants will be moving out. Okay. All right, let's see here. So where is this? Lando Lakes, Florida. Okay. So where is Lando Lakes? I've never heard of this before. Tampa area, okay. So 407, let's see here. And the rental is gonna be half of that, 2,600. I mean, that already looks not so good. Refi payment, 24.99, let's see the taxes. Uh, Listing removed about two years ago, three years ago. Assessment is 274. Okay, well, that's nice. These are pretty much, much uh, cold calls because we have a VA that just sort of kind of works or not whenever he wants. But, 
needs are still good to spend with him for years now. Just keep him employed and stay his family. Please leave your message for eight one three. Favor, I guess, to him. Uh, but no, we have a call center, as a matter of fact, that we own as part of something that happened, you know, this year. Uh, we purchased a call center that services or that employs people in four different countries. Uh, of course, the Philippines, uh, Cancun, uh, India, and the United States. So we have purchased that call center because in addition to me just being a Navy guy, I like the Shark Tank. And I just try to figure out, you know what? Why don't I just do some of the things that they do, but instead of using my own money, I can invite some of the people that invest in real estate with me to see if they want to be a part of buying you know, equity into private companies. Uh, and then asking also the sellers of these private companies to give me seller financing. So I'm sub businesses. <laughs> so I've been doing that as well. Uh, maybe I'll start including some of those phone calls that I have about that here in the channel. But after the 52 weeks are complete, which is in about seven more weeks, we will start doing a lot of that for sure. Uh, so, um, uh, exciting stuff going on, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm going to move it to attempted contact. Okay, this is direct mail here. This is in Jacksonville. Um, Trout River, Forest Hills. I used to have a house right there, Forest Hills. See the property here. Okay. Looks so familiar to me. Okay. 179. I guess that's good. Let's see the tax value, tax assessment. So typically, what I like to do is I look at this estimate, then I look at the tax assessment value, right? Which is 66,000. So if I go to the county, which I'm going to do, I, I, I wish I could show you my screen. There's a new property appraiser. Oh, wow. Okay. Then I look at the value there, assessed value, just market value. So the assessed value is 66,000, but the just market value is 118. So I take the two figures in my, my head, 118 and then 179. So what's the difference? So let's say 120 and 180, so 60 grand. So 120 plus 30, so somewhere in between, is 150. So I would say initially I want to pay 150 or below anything 150 or below it makes this a really good deal so i'm going to call now uh lead is selling a property because of her age needs major repairs she'll be ready to sell in six months if given the right price can be contacted any time of the day but if The lead, it's supposed to be the lead, is not a, able to answer and leave a message. Okay. What's her name? 
give me a moment. Let me call. This is direct mail, so they call an automated voicemail system, and then they just record a message, and that message is gets uh, transcribed, and that's what I was reading. Skills, where I have a house. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Nine zero four seven zero. Okay. So it's a cell phone. I know. I was calling you, calling you back. Moving forward with a purchase. I will try you back later. This looks like a fantastic lead. So I'm going to put it on persevering. As a matter of fact, I'm going to call back. It looks so good. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Okay. Not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hello, good morning, ma'am. Uh, and this is Ben. I got your message about your property on Forest Hills. Uh, as a matter of fact, I used to uh, have a house on uh, Forest Hills. Uh, so it, it was very nice to see that street again. Just, just a couple houses down from you. But anyway, if you can, please give me a call back. Uh, my number is four. Uh, if you can, give me a call back uh, whenever you get this message. I also sent you a text message. Uh, so I'd like to, uh, to chat with you for a few minutes. Uh, thank you so much. Again, this is Ben, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now. Okay, so... Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Okay. So I'm going to move this one to Perseverant. And direct mail. I'll um, do here instead is I'm going to put the address. Okay, because um, elderly woman okay. and then perseverant. Right, so it's very urgent and important. And I will also put this on my sheet. Okay, perfect. All right. Okay, so I think we are going to uh, uh, get this one as well. So that to me, it feels good. There's like a certain feeling that you get with certain kinds of properties, you know? So I feel good about that one. Okay, this is Lehigh Acres. Uh, okay. Is it a house? Uh, it's a piece of land. Why am I being given this? Um, 
Yeah, it's just a piece of land. Okay. One's 30 grand, I think. Yeah, three high acres. Okay. Uh, well, this to me is like a waste of time to cold call on and time because everybody targets the high acres. Vacant land, half an acre, 30 grand negotiable. Husband is sick and they want to get rid of the property. The property in our file is not for sale. However, she said she provided an address. Okay. So let me see which property here. They are distressed. So uh, maybe I'm gonna go look at um, what other properties they own before I call. Unbelievable. Okay, let me see here to continue, please. I think our card expired here. Hold on. <laughs> Enter a new card. Okay. Eleven twenty seven. Okay. Okay. Okay, well. That won't work. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me give her a call. 
Torino. Yes, good morning, Sharina. How are you? This is Ben. I'm good. Good, good to know. Uh, I was calling you back about your property there in Lehigh Acres. Uh-huh. Yes, wanted to see uh, if we can chat further. I was doing a little bit of uh, research uh, based on the last conversation you had with my my associate, uh, you'd like to sell it, um, etc. So, so can you tell me a little bit more about that? Well, we're interested in selling it. I don't know if you are interested in it. Um, the yes, taxes are paid on it. It's cleared. We don't have no mortgage on it. It was bought cash. Okay. It's high land. It does not have like flooding or anything there. Mm -hmm. It have lights. It have water. Oh, has lights and water. Okay. Oh yeah, it's a it's a built up area. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so so the property itself has light and water, or there's access to it. No, there's access to it. It does not have it on the property. Gotcha, gotcha. Understand. Okay. And it's half an acre. Half an acre. Okay. Yes. Okay. Great. Um. So where where do you live? Do you live in Lehigh Acres? No, 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 I live in Kissimmee. Oh, you live in Kissimmee, okay. Yes. Okay. So, um, did you buy it because you wanted to build a house there in Lehigh? Yes, we really bought it. We have a few properties that um, my husband bought that we wanted to like build and sell. Okay. But then um, the distance, it was far was one, and then he got a little sick, and the driving and stuff would have been oh. too much for him. So we hey, just leave it there. Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear. Is he doing better now? Um, better now. He's on dialysis. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, yes, certainly... and he had, like, um, a triple bypass. He has oh. to go next week to put in a pacemaker because the heart is racing off. Oh no! And so he's a bit less complicated right now. Oh man, I am so sorry to hear. But that is life as it goes on. Nobody is perfect. Things do happen. Yeah, yeah, things do do happen to everybody. That is for sure. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, how soon are you guys thinking about selling it? As soon as we get it sell, we get it off and we get it sell. Okay. You know, because you're not doing anything with it. It's just sitting there. Yes, ma'am. So is this the only property you guys are planning on selling or you want to sell your other properties as well? Um, he has another piece in, hmm, this one is in Lehigh. I think the other was in, one is in is Sarasota. He's not here. He's going for dialysis this morning. Oh, no. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. What so time? The other, um, he, he's like the first patient this morning. He goes in for six o'clock. He should be home like around 10. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Yeah, life is hard. So Sarasota, uh, there's another property. Is that also a vacant land or, or there's a house? Yes, on that? it is vacant land. Oh, vacant land. Yes. Okay. So, so I assume you want to sell them both then? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I might be interested in that one too. Okay. The one on Lehigh Acres, uh, how much were you thinking about selling it for? Well, my husband was thinking about 30,000 or negotiable. Okay. 30,000 or negotiable. Okay. Um, I don't know what you're going to offer. <laughs> I no, I understand that. So here's what I'll do. What I will okay. do is I am just yeah. going to do a little bit of, of comps and see what other lots are selling for. Like the closer to this lot, the better. Uh, you tell right. me that the property is cleared, right? There's no trees on it anymore? No, no, no. It has trees on it. I think it has some, but not like a whole lot of trees, but it has pine trees on it. Gotcha. Okay. But gotcha. I said it's high land. It's not like low land that rainfall is going to be flooded or so. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So how about I do this? Um, 
I will look at, I will give you a couple of options. There, there are t- three different ways in which we can buy it. Uh, one, one is going to be just cash. That's typically, right. our, yeah, typically our lowest offer is cash because, you know, cash is, is uh, high value. Then what right. we can do is we can do uh, partly cash with a, with a balloon payment option as well. And then the third one could be uh, total balloon payment. We make monthly payments and then we go, we, we uh, build it and then we cash you out. But the reason I like that for you guys is because you make a lot more money. You sell it for higher. So if you wanted to sell for 30000 we can give you 30000 with that last option. The cash is going to be our, our lowest offer. Does that make sense? And no, that one, you know, like, like a monthly installment you're going to pay? Yeah, yeah. And no, no, I don't think he would go for that one. Okay. I think he would rather the cash. He would rather have the cash. I understand. Okay. Yes. So let me do, let me do a little bit of due diligence. But as of right now, uh, mm-hmm. what is the best you can do? So you said 30, but if we're going to get cash, it's going to be hard to give you $30,000 cash. So what is the that's best what you can I'm do? That's what I'm saying. It's negotiable. So it's you now to make the offer. Mm-hmm. Well, I saw, I saw a property down the street sell for $10,000 cash. Oh, no. And remember, it's two lots. It's half an acre. It's not one. Oh, it's two lots. Okay. Yeah. Okay, two lots. Well, tell me uh, if if we did um, so two lots. If we did fifteen, how how would you like fifteen cash? Oh, uh, you can do twenty. How about we meet in the in the meet in the middle at seventeen five? Because we paid really and truly, he paid I think fifty thousand for that, and since he bought it, he's paying the taxes on it, and he paid cash for it. So mm-hmm. how many years he have it? Then paying the taxes, you know, it's more than what he paid for it, and like he's I understand. Like if he get twenty, mm-hmm. I understand. Let me do one thing. Let me talk to my my partner, and mm-hmm. let's see if I can get you the twenty that you want. Okay. All right. So so okay. it, so I'll talk to her, and then I'll call you back um, later on today. That way, give your husband a little time to get home. So I'll call you back, say yeah. by by around twelve or one p.m. tonight. I mean today. Yeah, but it's a little difficult to get him because, like, when he, I can give you most of the answers that you want because, like, See? when he come from dialysis, he's tired. I he'll understand. Just go shower and, you know, most of the time he's asleep. No but problem. If he's yeah. awake, no problem. You can talk to him. No problem. I, I have no issues uh, speaking with you. That's no problem at all. No problem. I, I just meant right. maybe he needs help when he gets home, you know, and you help him give you some time to, like, you know, uh, yeah. do what you need to do. And that's why he was calling 30000 mm-hmm. Because as I told you, I think he paid like 50000 for that. And, oh, um, I understand, yeah. Yes, and um, as mm-hmm. I said, negotiable, I think the lease will go to 20 At least he, he would go 20 okay. Well, yeah, let, we're let, losing a lot, but you know, yeah. that's the thing with business. You make and you lost too. Yeah, there's, there's, <laughs> there's gains and there's losses, that's for sure. Okay. Yes, yes. So in the meantime, let me go talk to my partner, see if we can do the 20 uh, and I'll call you back. Yeah. And the other piece that he has, it, it is in Sarasota, mm-hmm. which is um, Autumn Leaf Terrace. Okay. That is um, 46. I don't know. ADD, I will add it to Port Charlotte. Okay. Lot four, block twenty one seventy seven. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so that is just one. Um. You will call it a quarter acre. A quarter acre. I like just okay. one one house can go on that piece there. Okay. But that area is more developed. It has lots of businesses there, and you know. Yeah. How much? Yeah. How much were you guys thinking for that piece? Um, oh boy. I, no, I can't tell you that right now. Okay. Because I remember somebody called for this one that we were speaking about first. 
and um, they had made an offer, and that is what he said. So that's how I I know what she wants for this one in um, Lehigh. So sure. this other one, I'm not sure, but as as I told you, it's just a quarter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, then let's do it this way. I'll give you some time. Once he gets home, maybe you can ask him what he wants for the Sarasota one as well. Then when I call you later this afternoon, then we can talk about both in more detail. Is that okay? Okay. Because I know the Sarasota one, he wants to more for it because of the, the, the built-up area and the businesses and all these things. It's a more, you know, developed area. That's right. I, I understand that. I do understand. Yes. That. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, um, so did I pronounce yes. your name correctly, Sharina? Mm, excuse me? How, how do you pronounce your name? Oh, you pronounce it very good. Sharina. Sharina. Okay. Good, good. Yes. <laughs> well, Sharina. Sound... Sharina. 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 Okay. You got it. Sounds good. And my husband is Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Yes. Okay, very yeah, nice. Mohammed. Yeah. Yes. That's fantastic. Well, sounds good. Let me, uh, you know, go talk to her uh, and see if we can do the 20K. And then uh, you talk to him and see what he wants for the second one. And let's reconvene later this afternoon. All right. Where are you calling from? I am calling you from Daytona Beach. Oh, you're right here. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm okay. right near you. Yeah, Kissimmee right. is just about uh, 30 minutes, 35 minutes from me. So, yeah, we are exactly in Point Siena. Oh, Point Siena. Oh, yeah, I love Point Siena. It's a nice area. Yeah. Oh, it's so developed. And the hospitals, they're building a big mall, maybe like five minutes from me, yeah. a big shopping center. That's and since right. we've been here like 18 years, it has developed so much. And yeah. houses is going up one after the other. People is coming in like they had bought empty lots, maybe when land was cheap. Those mm -hmm. land, my husband bought it, but when he bought it, the price was up at the time when he bought it. Oh, wow. So, um, yes. Yeah, uh, Point Siena is a really good area to buy real estate. And it's very quiet. It's Peaceful. I've been living here. I said 18 years. I lived in New York, I think 17 years, and then I moved here. Mm -hmm. So we're very comfortable. We have nice neighbors, although the, the majority of them are Spanish around, but they're very friendly, very nice. Yeah. You can here where I live, you can leave the door open, go out and come back and you're safe. <laughs> that is fantastic. That's the kind of neighborhood yeah. I like. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Well, that sounds good. Maybe we can get together, you know, to sign the documents because, like I said, we're, we're right around the corner. So that'd be great. Um, right. Yeah, let me go talk to her. Uh, we're very in interested. So um, I'll get back to you later this afternoon, okay? Okay, no problem. Thank you, ma'am. We'll talk soon. You're welcome. Okay, bye-bye now. Yeah, from you later. Okay, bye-bye now. Yes, ma'am. Bye-bye now. <clears throat> okay so uh that was good so she'll take 20 uh so if we get it on at 20 that's fine she will take 20k and let me talk here so i offered her 15,000 cash and she said that she overheard her husband talking about 20,000 minimum so she doesn't think he'll go lower than 20 but we can try to do it for 20 period they also have another property in Sarasota that is a half an acre quarter acre One quarter acre uh, I forgot to say this one this is two lots which is great Lehigh acres 
comma, they have two lots there. And we can get both for probably 20K, but hopefully 15K, period. That makes it a really good deal. She is not sure how much he wants for the Sarasota lot, but he knows there is a lot more commercial development going on where he owns this lot, period, new paragraph. They live in Kissimmee. And so it'd be easy to do the paperwork and everything else, period. Okay, so uh, this is going to be uh, easy. Um, since I offered 15K, I told her I would speak to my partner to see if we could do 20K, but hopefully we can meet in the middle, period. I told her I would call her back after her husband returned from dialysis this morning period. New paragraph. They have a lot of issues with him being sick and he's going to go in to get a triple bypass. Very sad, period. But they want to sell ASAP. Okay. <clears throat> so let me switch the... Um, switch the, the stages. Here. Uh, offer made. And again, I am going to take the address here and then put on my sheet. So that is three deals today. I think we can leave it right there. <laughs> so thank you guys for being here. Uh, we're gonna go take a little break and then come back and do more phone calls. Uh, start you know, doing a little bit more due diligence on these and then start sending out contracts. That's what we do every single day. See you next time. Please give me a thumbs up, a like, and contact me below if you want to be a part of these deals. Maybe we can, you know, share deals or whatnot. Uh, if you need help getting started, let me know. My info to contact me is below. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.